Hi Gemini, welcome to your general reading for the month of November 2020. Please bear in mind the energy I pick up on can be vice versa and interchangeable if we're talking about someone around you. Please also bear in mind this reading won't resonate for every Gemini out there, it is a general reading. But if it does resonate and you want to book a personal reading with me, the link for that is in the description box below. Also, if this resonates, please give this video a like and subscribe so that I have more Gemini energy to work with. And if it doesn't resonate, feel free to check out your moon and your rising sign. Okay, <clears throat> let me ground and tune in. is happening for Gemini in November 2020. One more shuffle. Okay. Gemini, November 2020. Okay, bottom of the deck we have daughter value. Hello. Abundance, new opportunities. Taking something to the next level. Money coming by the pound. Nice start. Okay, let's see. Gemini, November 2020. Angel guides, spirit guides. Thank you. Ooh, okay. Yep, powerful month ahead for Gemini. What you guys working on? <laughs> what you got going on in those beautiful heads of yours? Oh, nice. Okay, one more for Gemini for November 2020. So far, so good, Gemini. Oh, oh my God, I love it. Wow, yes. Oh, wow. Okay, this is nice. Really nice. Time for someone to take action towards you. Hello. Look at him. He's ready for you, Gemini. Or she's ready for you. Or you're ready to go after someone. Someone's ready to take action in love. <laughs> All right. And then we have the temple path upright. My favorite card in this deck. This is complete and utter alignment. This is your... Um, friends in the spirit world being right by your side guiding you applauding you because you're on your path so i feel like this month <laughs> this is probably going to be a love reading <laughs> for those of you that are single that's not going to be for much longer okay someone is taking action towards you or you are taking action towards someone and i feel like this someone is um your divine partner this is, I hate to sound cliche, but meant to be, or, you know, this is someone who's been divinely guided towards you. Or if this is you wanting to take action towards someone else, again, you're being uh, divinely guided towards them. This is a divine connection, for sure. For those of you who are already in um, a relationship or a situationship, whatever, for those of you who are already dealing with someone, this could be either you or them are ready to take action, like I said, to take something to the next level. Like I said, with that um, daughter value card, something's opening up here, basically, and um, it's being divinely guided. So really, really nice, really nice. And as an added bonus, bottom of the deck, we have financial constraints in reverse. So if money has been tight for you recently or if you've been worrying about money, no more. Don't worry about that. That's being cleared up for you. Nice little side message. Okay. That's a really, really nice start. I like it, Gemini. I like it. All right. Let's go into the tarot cards and get more information. <clears throat> hmm, I'm excited for this one. I really, really like this energy. Really like it. Who you got your eye on, Gemini? Who's got their eye on you? Hmm? Who's getting ready to pop the question to their other half? Or 
who's about to receive a proposal or something like that. You could, you know, if you're in a connection already, it could be this person is getting ready to ask you to move in or ask you to make the relationship official or propose. Something's going to the next level here romantically. Really, really nice. Could also be about um, if you're not interested in romance right now, it could be about self-love. This could be you um, really stepping up your self-care, your self-love game this month. And again, being divinely guided to do so, you know, maybe really tapping into your spirituality. I don't know, something. Well, let's see what the tarot has to say. But either way, this is beautiful. All right, one more shuffle. in reverse at the bottom of the deck like i said if you've been having money troubles or money uh worries no more same energy at the bottom of the deck it's, it's done done no more lack no more debt no more worrying about money i love it if you've gone through any kind of loss recently um particularly financially that's definitely turning around yeah if something's been delayed, expect it to be delayed no more. Yeah, really nice. All right, <clears throat> let's clarify this yin yang. What is this action about, please? For Gemini, November 2020. Angel guides, spirit guides, ancestors. Thank you for your guidance. Please give clear messages for Gemini. Oh, hoo -hoo! November 2020. I love it. I love it. Mmm. Okay. All right. Three of Wands. This is progression, expansion, long-term vision, growth. Yeah, you're definitely, like I said, you or someone around you is taking action this month towards growing, whatever this is. I mean, so far it's looking like a romantic situation, but I try not to, you know, be too... Um, detail because this is a general reading it will be different for each of you but say this is a love situation right this is definitely like i said you or your person taking action this month to grow your relationship to take your relationship to the next level they see a future with you maybe they're just realizing that and they want to really solidify things like i said it could be a proposal it could be asking you to move in with them just asking you to make it official whatever the case may be or uh, vice versa if this isn't about a romantic situation, this is just you, like I said, it could be your self-love, your self-care, just really taking care of your S-H-I-T, you know? Whatever the case may be, you're definitely getting ready this month to take action towards growing something. Whether that's your own business, your own self-love, your money, or this romantic connection. So really, really nice. Really, really nice. We have the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I'm feeling like, <clears throat> oh, yes. Woo oh, my God. Look at this bottom of the deck energy. It always comes through. Ten of Wands. Page of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. Three of Pentacles. Six of Wands. This is, this is screaming. The end of something, something is being completed here. Something that might have been um, weighing you down a little bit, feeling like a little bit of a burden. That's no more. Something new is coming in. Could be, like I said, uh, it could be to do with your money, with your own self, with your foundation. Or this could pertain to a romantic connection. Take it how it resonates. But yeah, something ending and something better coming in basically brand new beginning for you beautiful again growth something this month is growing for you wow really nice coming together with someone or with multiple people collaboration teamwork recognition of your success 
borderline fame. <clears throat> Whatever it means for you. But ultimately, I'm just seeing major, major, major growth progress and expansion in whatever way that resonates for you so really 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 nice wow oh this is making me go all like <laughs> emotional this is really nice all right let's clarify this man holding a heart what's going on here gemini november 2020 Please clarify this man holding a heart for Gemini, November 2020. Please, angel guides, spirit guides, ancestors, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Listen, Gemini. <laughs> I'm sorry, sometimes tarot cards make me laugh. Look at this. Same card. That just came out to clarify this growth situation here. Yeah, someone is coming your way. Someone wants to come together with you. <laughs> Someone wants you on their team. Someone's like, mm, look at Gemini looking so fine. I need a bit of Gemini in my life. I need Gemini on my team. Yeah, or like I said, this is you towards someone else. <clears throat> there is a coming together this month for you with someone for sure and um <clears throat> they are coming in quick this is not no mm, let me take baby so no this is like gemini i want you here i am <laughs> boom quick or you towards them lovely this could be someone who's had their eye on you for a while and is kind of you know been holding back for a bit, just watching you, waiting for the right moment. But now they're ready to come out of hiding straight in your direction. Because, yeah, they want you on their team. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Love it. Love it. This is definitely looking like a love reading, Gemini. I didn't mean it to be. But take it how it resonates. Like I said, the main theme I'm seeing here is in some way, however it applies to you, there is going to be growth, a coming together. This could be with a friend, a family member, um, a business partnership, co-workers, so many things. But it is looking like love, I'm just saying. I'm just a messenger. Okay, let's clarify the temple path for Gemini, November 2020. What else can you tell me about this energy here, please? Gemini, November 2020. What is this Temple Path card about? Ooh. Okay. Oh, it's about a lot. Oh, I just adore it. I love it. Look at this. Four of Wands, 11, 11. Alignment, joy, harmony. Once again, coming together. This is... <clears throat> Before I even look at these cards, this is um this is divine. This is a truly divine partnership, a divine coming together. Again, I did say it's for some of you, this could be a proposal for marriage. Anyone watching this who's been considering proposing to their loved one, I think you can take this as your confirmation to go ahead and do it. <clears throat> or you could expect it. I don't want to get anyone too <laughs> excited here. But there, it could be, could be marriage, I'm just saying. But there's a coming together, no doubt about that. All right, let's get into these cards. There's quite a lot of cards. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, no wonder it was a lot. Mm. Look at that. Wheel of Fortune. This is like <laughs> probably one of the best cards you could possibly pull. Oh, especially... In combination with this, Gemini, Gemini, this is like, this is your month, boo. Look at this. Good luck. Things going in your favor. Mm, a new cycle. Look, no more of this. Some of you might have been feeling a bit um restricted lately, a bit in your head. Might have found yourself slipping into some negative thinking patterns, but no more. No. It's all turning around for you. Some of you might have had to make um, a difficult decision 
which is potentially why you were in this energy, right? Maybe you knew you had to make a decision and you didn't want to do it. You were kind of trying to avoid it and you were very in your head about it for some of you. Mm, that is all turning around for you. Yeah, you've definitely been in your head about something, but I feel like it's actually done you the world of good because during that time, you've really gone inwards and found your your inner truth, your inner power, you know? This is like, that for me, this card is like a quiet confidence. Or this could be the person that's coming in or that you're going towards. Take it how it resonates. There's an energy here of like, inner knowing, inner quiet confidence. <clears throat> and yeah, like self, self working on yourself. Like I said, I feel like maybe for some of you, you had to make a difficult decision, right? And it had you in your head a little bit, but it's one of those situations where, you know, when you go through something, it feels crap at the time, it sucks. It's got you, you know, anxious. It's got you overthinking. It's not a very nice energy, but then it pushes you to unlock another level of yourself, you know, or you discover something about yourself that you would never have discovered had you not gone through this um, period, you know? This could be a trigger. Maybe something triggered you recently. But what happens if you're self-aware, every time a trigger comes up, you end up in this energy of um, understanding yourself more and, and, and then being able to work on yourself, work on those parts of you that were triggered. It's, there's a really beautiful um, divine influence here. Whatever this is, it's all um, meant to happen that way. So it's, it's karma. It's supposed to be that way because, yeah. <laughs> Whatever the case may be, just know in November that wheel is spinning in your favour. This is divinely guided. Wow. Wow, Gemini. What more can I say? I mean, <laughs> I'm really happy for you. I'm really, really happy for you. Hmm. All right. I don't really need any more clarification on that. It's very clear to me. However it resonates for you, could be love, could be money, <clears throat> could be um, a, a new career path, whatever it is that's coming in towards you this month or that you're going towards, there is just major, major growth, expansion, collaboration, an energy of coming together good luck this is like you deserve this this is your karma you deserve this happiness you absolutely deserve it this is like destiny i know that's a big statement but it is that's the energy here it's destiny wow wow if this is um, a romantic partner you could be dealing with an earth sign capricorn taurus virgo or a fire sign, uh, Leo, Aries, Sag. Doesn't have to be, but could be. Just wanted to let you know. If your person is any of those signs, all the better. The message is, you know, even more for you. All right, let's get some um, advice. I don't need any more clarification on that. It's very clear. Beautiful, simple energy. Love it. Congrats, Gemini. Okay, let's get some advice. What advice can you give me for Gemini? November 2020 what advice do we have okay keep your eye on the prize that makes sense I mean if this is um mm, if this is a love situation about to blossom we all know how that goes you know it can be a distraction positive distraction but a distraction nonetheless right so it's like when this comes in don't um don't get completely consumed to where you stop tending to your responsibilities, right? Or let's say like you start dating this person and you want to impress them. So you think, oh, I can't really afford to spend this much on this date, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to be really irresponsible with my money or I know I should do this for my business, but I just want to really be around this person today. So forget that. Or um, oh, I'm going to call in sick to work so I just want to spend time with this person you know what I'm saying be careful 
yeah that's just some advice there for you as beautiful as this is we still have responsibilities right don't take your eye off of your prize ever mm. yeah yeah there's definitely a message here of um <clears throat> i'm hearing like carry on as you were you know it's beautiful when a new love comes into our life or when our current love grows you know love is the most beautiful thing on the planet right and it, it can absolutely take all of our focus it's just <laughs> that's just how it is we get consumed but there's definitely a message here of there's nothing wrong like this is beautiful this, whatever this is coming in but just carry on as you were don't don't start to um change your lifestyle don't don't lose yourself don't don't let your money go don't let your hobbies go the way that you've been living your life continue living your life that way that's how you don't lose yourself in a relationship okay because a mistake that a lot of us make when we get into a relationship is um we tend to you know we want to impress the person we want to make them happy we want to be around them all the time and so we tend to start making adjustments to our lifestyle so let's say normally on a saturday you would do some hobby that you have with your friends or normally on a saturday you would do something for your side hustle i don't know and then when this new love comes in or you go to the next level with your current love you start to let those things slide right and the more you do that the less of yourself um remains if that makes sense that's but that, what i'm trying to say is that's how you lose yourself over time you let your the things that are important to you, you let them go and then you kind of lose your identity within the relationship. So that's just a message there for you um, is to maintain, enjoy this, but also maintain your um, routines, your um, beliefs, your values, your money. Yeah, don't lose yourself in this. That's how powerful this is going to be. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Okay. So really, really beautiful. Let's pull some Moonology cards to close this out. Gemini. Guys, really happy for you. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what the Moonology cards have for you to close this off. shuffle all right <clears throat> bottom of the deck conclusions are within reach nice we see that yeah something is definitely um going to be concluded this month like i said in a if it's a love situation and it's been feeling um stagnant stuck not sure if it's going anywhere oh baby it is <laughs> it is conclusions are coming all right let's see for gemini november 2020 please gemini november 2020 Gemini, what advice, what guidance can you give me for Gemini for the month of November 2020? Mm. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Prosperity lies ahead. Nice. Yep. Okay. Anything else? Gemini, I'm so happy for you. This is just like... There is literally not one negative thing here. This is just beautiful for you. November is going to be a great month for you, period. Oh, okay. That's too many. Too many. Clear guidance, please, for Gemini for November 2020. <clears throat> time to release negativity yeah for sure that's being done 
Wheel of Fortune. The time of negativity, of um, of money worries, is over. It's over this month. Release it. Because it's only beauty coming in for you from here on out. I'm going to pull one more for you. One more Moonology. And then I will read the meanings of these Moonology cards. <laughs> I said one more and we got two more. Let's take them. They wanted to come out. Confidence is your key to success and have faith in your dreams. Lovely. Gemini, there's nothing bad for you here. Like, I love it. Not that I'm expecting that, but I'm just, I feel so happy for you because this is just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy. I love it. Yeah, before I go into reading the meanings, I just want to say I definitely have this feeling of with what's about to happen for you this month, which is so beautiful, please stay um, stay grounded, stay, how can I say it? Like I said, maintain your thing. It's beautiful to connect with someone, absolutely beautiful. Also, at the same time, though, maintain your stuff. Yeah, because you have prosperity coming in. Stay in your self-confidence. Don't let anything rock your self-esteem because that is your key to success. Keep your faith in your dreams. That's what I'm trying to say. It's like, don't get so sideswept by this beautiful thing. <laughs> um, don't get sideswept by it, though. You know, maintain the faith in your dreams. Don't lose sight of your vision. That's, I just felt the need to repeat that. But really, really beautiful, Gemini. Okay, I'm going to read the meaning of each card for you so you can get the full advice. And then we will wrap this up. What a positive, positive reading. Okay, new moon in Taurus, 44. Okay, prosperity lies ahead. This card will often come up when you're inquiring about a financial matter or when you're doubting your self-worth. The card suggests you can have what you want, including material things, but you must believe in yourself. Confidence is your key to success, right? This comes down to the laws of attraction. Value yourself and others will value you too. You can create abundance. Taurus is associated with luxurious Venus and this card holds the new moon energy. So now is a good time to make a 12 month financial plan. This card can also signal the start of a new relationship. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we see that. Or of sexier times. <laughs> If you've been wrestling with something for a long time, the new moon in Sturdy Taurus is a sign not to give up just yet. Get or give a massage. Healthy body, healthy mind. Little side note for you there. Additional meanings for this card are you will soon be able to afford the thing you've been dreaming of. What did we say? Financial worries. No more. Um, can also mean uh, uh, getting clear on what you value most will help you find peace. Take some time out to pamper yourself um, or start a standing order to a savings account, no matter how small. The teaching is we often feel that it's somehow wrong to focus on our finances, but the truth is that money can make life far more comfortable from a physical point of view. Taurus knows this and the new moon in Taurus is the time to work your magic to create the money you want so you can have the creature comforts you want. Remember, though, that someone else is still wishing for what you already have. So gratitude is what I take from that last bit. It's like working towards more, but also staying grateful for what you have. And like I said, there is this energy here of alongside this new relationship that's potentially coming in or sexier times in your current relationship. You see how there was the mention of both. There was that and then there was also a heavy focus on your money. So same energy I've been getting throughout. Keep a healthy balance between this love situation and then your money, your career because you have prosperity coming in, maintain it. Don't forget about your needs. Yeah, beautiful. All right, it's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio, 82. Ooh, Gemini is winning. All right. If you've been feeling paranoid and acting weird, take this card as a very direct message from the cosmos to stop it. <laughs> Worrying yourself is pointless. It's time to release any negativity you have around the situation you're asking about. If someone has been unkind to you, perhaps it's time for you to release them. 
This card heralds an emotionally intense time since both the full moon and Scorpio themselves are both extremely intense. <laughs> Don't we know it? It's time for you to feel all your feelings. There could be some nastiness in the air when you pull this card. If that's the case, take it as a sign to move away from anyone or anything you feel is toxic. For some, however, this card has a totally different meaning. Your sex life can improve now if you make an effort. Use your magic. You have all you need inside you to bring about your desired result. Hmm. Emote. It's all better out than in. Additional meanings are it's time to move from living fearfully to living joyfully. Yeah. New cycle. Like we said. Could also mean you're right to have your suspicions. Grudges are toxic. Let something go. And can also mean the end of an argument. The teaching is the full moon in Scorpio has a sting in its tail. It can herald a vindictive end to a relationship. It can also be a time when we want to be good, but we're naughty. <laughs> if you pull this card, no matter when, your dark side and your shadow self may be showing. Do you know what's funny? When I was looking at the bottom of the deck energy earlier, the devil card actually came up. But I decided to leave it because it wasn't in flow with those specific messages. But it's come up again here. Okay, shadow self. The full moon in Scorpio is also a time of magic. If you were thinking of making some magic, this is your sign to do it. So yeah, that's come up again. So for example, when this new love comes in, okay, or um, your current love expands, whatever the case may be, you may find um, triggers, like I said, right? I think I did mention that earlier, actually, triggers coming up for you. Um, and if that's the case, your your advice here is to don't avoid them, but don't get sucked in by them either. Acknowledge that they're there. Feel them and then release them. To release any emotion, any trigger, any trauma, you have to feel it and then transmute it, right? So that advice definitely wanted to come up for you because it did come up at the bottom of the deck and it's come up again here. Okay. Next, confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo, 50. This card heralds the start of a new cycle for you. Mm -hmm. When you're going to look and feel more gorgeous, more in the spotlight, more like you have something worth showing off. Ooh. If you want someone's attention, this card says it's coming. Don't we know it? <laughs> However, this may not happen all by itself. You have to be willing to do your bit. That means being proud of who you are and what you have to offer. Think of yourself as the king or queen of the jungle and carry yourself accordingly. This card is also a great omen if you're asking about a creative project you're working on. Alternatively, it can herald good news or a new start for your children. Make time to have fun. And additional meanings are, it's time for you to show the world what you've got. Shine your light. Have some pride. Spoil yourself. You've earned it. And you've turned someone's head. Again, don't we know it? The teaching is, Leo is the sign of the big and brave-hearted lion, of pride and showmanship and flirting. The energy around the new moon in Leo, and therefore around this card whenever you pick it, is hot and generous. The energy loves itself, and so should you. If you've been too much of a wallflower, this new moon card and the Leo new moon comes as a reminder that you need to be proud of who you are. Love that. Didn't we just say, this new love coming in, maybe it's a Leo. Um, or maybe it's just someone who's very confident in themselves. They love themselves and it's important that you get into that same energy so that you're a vibrational match to this thing, right? So you can enjoy it. Look at, this has come up in each card, like a new relationship, better sex, flirtation, hot. I love it. Gemini, you about to have, I don't know, because here in the UK, we're going into lockdown. <laughs> Are you guys going to be like sneaking to each other's houses or I like it. All right. Last one. Have faith in your dreams. Waxing crescent moon. 26. Don't give up. The situation you're asking about is still taking shape. You're nowhere near the end of the story. Whatever is happening now is just a step along the way. As they say in the self-help classics, everything will be okay in the end. If it's not okay, it's not the end. However, the Waxing Crescent Moon card is a reminder that you must still keep working towards whatever it is that you want. What did I say? If you can't take practical steps, spend time meditating on the question you're asking about. 
and allow your higher self to download information to you about your best next step. Overall, this card suggests there is every reason to be hopeful for a very positive outcome to the situation you're asking about. So keep the faith. Ah, I love it. Your affirmation is I am focused on what I want. Affirm that to yourself. Like I said, I love it when the um, moonology cards just confirm what I've been picking up on. There is definitely an energy here of I think this love, whatever this is, is going to be so powerful. It does have the ability to distract you from your stuff. Yeah, so there's the message for you again. You must keep working towards your goals, your, your dreams. Don't lose sight of that, okay? Additional meanings are just because you can't see your dreams, it doesn't mean they're not manifesting. Don't look back. Stay focused on moving forwards. Be patient as events unfold and dig a little deeper to find more courage. And the teaching is the waxing crescent moon is the second moon phase in the eight main moon phases. But even if it's not the time of the waxing crescent moon when you pull this card, it still suggests you need to really pursue your dreams. It's the time to put your foot down hard as you chase your goals. Yeah. So lovely, lovely confirmation. Like I said, um, I do feel like you are going to be taking action towards your goals anyway this month with these cards here. So this is you maybe finally getting your long term plan in order and you're so ready to go after what you want. So ready. OK, and then it's like <laughs> Mr. or Mrs. Lover Lover comes in wanting to come together with you and spirit is saying to you, enjoy it like this is amazing. But please don't don't forget about this. Yeah, don't lose sight of your own goals in the middle of all of this. Enjoy it, but, you know, stay grounded. Don't forget about your needs, your goals, your wants. And ultimately, baby, baby, beautiful. I'm genuinely so, so, so happy for you. And I'm very happy that my moon is in Gemini because maybe some of this applies to me. Anyway, <laughs> back to you. Yeah, beautiful um, new cycle starting completely in your favour. Total alignment divinely guided divinely loved and protected your spirit guides are with you congratulating you encouraging you to move forward on this path so really really beautiful reading gemini i'm very happy for you if this resonated please let me know in the comments give this video a like and subscribe so that i have more gemini energy to work with if you want to book a personal reading the link for that is in the description box below and I wish you a very hot, <laughs> exciting, productive, beautiful November ahead, Gemini. Take care. Bye.